Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my personal top 7 perfumes that I think every woman should have. In my opinion, all of these perfumes just exude feminine energy. All of these perfumes will make you feel like a boss chick, like a boss woman, like you have everything together. And every single one of these perfumes are also like man killer type of scents. So I just feel like these perfumes, like this top 7, I know it's kind of like an odd number. I wanted to be strict with the ones that I just feel like are like the confident perfumes in my collection and obviously i have so many perfumes i have over 100 perfumes so to just pick seven was really really hard i was really strict with picking each perfume and i made sure that every single perfume just kind of gave off this sexiness this feminine quality i feel like being a woman is such a powerful thing and i feel like every woman should feel that way these perfumes really really help to kind of bring that out in me these are just such compliment getters and perfumes that just will make you feel like the most feminine version of yourself i know the title is kind of like dramatic like top seven that every woman needs but obviously that's a very like subjective title because what i like you may not you may think that a feminine perfume is something completely different than my taste but i feel like generally a lot of women will like these perfumes i just feel like all of these are very big crowd pleasers but without being boring they will really make you stand out in a crowd they will make you smell amazing i personally feel like perfume is such a big part of making me feel super feminine if I'm feeling down that day, these will just kind of pick me up and make me feel super, super confident. It's not only perfume that does that to you, obviously. For me, a huge part of it is perfume because I have such a huge passion for it. And obviously, we're just talking superficial here. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I don't think anybody doesn't like looking good. Obviously, we all know that what matters is on the inside, but feeling good on the outside kind of just doubles that. I personally feel like your appearance and what you wear kind of goes hand in hand with the perfume that you're choosing for that day. And that kind of brings me to the sponsor of this video so this portion of the video is sponsored by lily silk i was so excited when they reached out to me because lily silk has worked with so many of my favorite content creators my favorite perfume reviewers here on youtube have worked with them and of course when they reached out i had to say yes and i had to share this with you guys because literally as soon as i put this clothing piece which is from lily silk i don't know if you can tell this beautiful silk blouse if you haven't already heard of lily silk which i'm sure a lot of you guys already have they are obviously a silk company they make silk blouses as the one that i have they have a ton of different colors but they have a ton more clothing items and their silk is made out of mulberry which is currently like the highest quality silk that's available to purchase i have bought so many silk <laughs> items in the past that like claim to be silk but obviously they weren't and obviously they were super cheap so you kind of knew that getting it and i was always like oh my god they feel so soft until i put this blouse on my body this feels like i have nothing on my body and somehow it's keeping me cool like it's a really cool material kind of just feels very airy and as you move the fabric just kind of like moves with you and it just kind of forms and shapes to your body if you guys are interested in the blouse that i am wearing in this video it will be linked down below but they don't just have blouses and apparel they also have like pajamas i think every woman should have like at least one pair of like silk pajamas just so that you could go to bed feeling like your most luxurious self they also have bedding and pillow cases which gets me into this pillowcase right here i have been sleeping on this pillowcase for the past couple days and let me just tell you sleeping on this pillowcase has been like sleeping on clouds you know like when you get so hot in the middle of the night and you like flip your pillow to like the cooler side this is a very like i don't know it's a very breezy material i always wake up in the middle of the night feeling like i'm like 300 degrees and like i'm about to literally melt into my bed but with this one i can just kind of like move my head to a different part and it's already like cooler not only does it feel amazing it has a ton of benefits for your skin the whole thing about silk pillowcases i feel like came out a couple years ago where i feel like a lot of people were like obsessed with silk pillowcases because it kind of came out that it helped with like wrinkles it helped with acne and it also helps your hair because a silk pillowcase has a lot less friction than like your typical cotton pillowcase which helps prevent a lot of like irritation and damage because weirdly enough a lot of damage on your hair happens like through the night as you sleep as you're like tossing and turning it's also just like a cleaner surface for you to sleep on you spend almost half of your life sleeping and so you want to make sure that your sleeping environment is nice and clean that's why a lot of people will wake up with a lot of acne like on their cheeks and that's why i'm sure you've all heard that you're supposed to like clean out your pillowcases like super often because you know your pillowcases hold on so much bacteria because all the oils and everything that's collecting and building up 
as you're sleeping will in turn cause a ton of acne and it's just overall just a lot less drying for your skin and your hair and also it helps with anti-aging because again the whole friction thing silk is a very like smooth material as you guys just saw so it's not going to like tug or scrunch at your skin which in turn can cause premature wrinkles which is just super fun and if you tend to wake up with like a bed head like a frizzy head of hair silk will also help minimize that because again as i said less friction now obviously i'm not like a silk expert so if you want to know more about the benefits of silk go check out the link in the description and that will kind of give you a lot more information than i'm giving you and if you are interested in any of the items that i showed in this video or if you want to just go and check out all of their other products on their website you can go ahead and do that and if you find anything that you like they did give me a code so you can use xenia 15 for 15 percent off of your purchase that is not an affiliate code so i get nothing off of that so use that at your own free will just to get a little bit of money off and as per usual i've kind of given this disclaimer before for in my previous sponsorships but I don't promote or talk about anything that I do not personally like because as I've said before I have a lot of companies that reach out to me and I'm very very specific on which ones that I work with I want to make sure that I work with like high quality brands that are giving high quality items and not just like talking about something that nobody cares about i really really like this brand they were amazing to work with i do genuinely think that they are high quality items so i just wanted to let you guys know about them and thank you lily silk for reaching out to me and working with me on this video but with all that being said we can get straight into this video so in this video i'm going to show you guys like perfumes that you have seen in the past from me and perfumes that you have not so a lot of these are brand new i have a ton of hauls coming up so prepare yourself because i have a lot of perfumes i'm about to throw at you so i'm going to get straight into perfume number one so oh i think this is amazing this is not necessarily a new discovery for me because i've smelled it before but it's a new buy for me when i first smelled it i kind of just sprayed it on me like once and i was like eh. i didn't really think much of it i kind of forgot about it and then i recently kind of revisited it i had seen so many people talk about this perfume and I had to pick it up. I feel like in most perfume videos that you see, this is like on the top sexiest list or like on the top like man killer type of perfumes. And that is no other than Hypnotic Poison by Dior. They do have an Eau de Parfum. This is the Eau de Toilette, which I feel like is the more loved version. A lot of people just generally prefer this one. It's a lot less intense, even though it still is super insanely intense. And do not be weary of that Eau de Toilette because this has the performance of an Eau de Parfum if not like even greater than that because the staying power of this perfume insane it will stick to you like a magnet but let's talk about this scent this is a woman in a bottle a sexy sexy woman in a bottle i try to include perfumes in this video for like all kinds of women because obviously not everybody will love a strictly sweet scent or a fresh scent or a floral and i feel like in this video i have a good roundup of like all of those things but in the most likable way and this one is for all of you sweet vanilla lovers out there and myself included because you guys know i'm obsessed with sweet scents my favorite type of scents are sweet scents i just feel like they are the sexiest i'm gonna let you guys know the notes of this perfume before i kind of speak about what i smell in it so this has top notes of coconut plum and apricot it has middle notes of brazilian rosewood jasmine caraway tuberose rose lily of the valley and base notes of vanilla almond sandalwood and musk i feel like the main kind of notes and the notes that i smell the most in this would probably be vanilla almond a touch of sandalwood not really any coconut maybe a touch of jasmine no rose and maybe a little bit of plum it's a very thick fragrance i guess dense would be the better word for it but it kind of just like envelops you in this like intoxicating scent cloud and it's just incredible i'm so glad that i'm showing this now because we are kind of heading into the colder months and this one is like your go-to fall and winter scent i will give a short like not really disclaimer but something that some people say about this i personally don't get it but i will tell you guys some people think that this smells like play-doh first of all i actually like the smell of play-doh wouldn't necessarily want to smell like play-doh but i like the smell of play-doh in my opinion i don't think that this smells like play-doh yeah i mean maybe i can kind of get it if i'm like really searching for it but if you're wearing this people are not gonna think that you just played with play-doh this is just sweet vanilla heaven every time i smell it it just smells euphoric to me like it's it makes me happy and in my opinion this is a sex bomb this is like an appealing scent to any male 
you have around you i feel like anybody can smell this on you and be like wow you smell incredible my fiance absolutely is obsessed with this scent every time he smells it on me he's like oh my god like you smell like a cake you will literally smell like a snack when you wear this like a delicious sexy snack but weirdly enough this is also classy because a lot of vanillas like strictly kind of sweet vanilla scents will be almost cloying now i will say this is a little bit cloying just because it's so intensely sweet but in the best way possible this doesn't really give me a headache i could see if you like really overdo this scent it might but if you are looking for an amazing kind of creamy oriental vanilla almond sugary goodness um but that also smells very classy and just upscale not something like cheap this smells so 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 expensive and just super complex then definitely go for dior hypnotic poison and boy is it hypnotic this is there's a reason why this is called hypnotic poison it is literally a hypnotizing perfume i just can't say enough good things about it it's sweet but it's so well rounded every time i smell it it makes me happy it genuinely makes me happy and it makes me feel euphoric so definitely check out hypnotic poison this is just such an every woman should have kind of perfume like i had to include this in this video next up second place by the way i know that i'm saying like first second and all of that but these are no like particular order of like best to least good like these are all really good in my opinion so I, i'm not like rating them i'm just showing them in no particular order so the next one i'm going to show you is a classy scent this is a rich bitch <laughs> um businesswoman ceo upcoming ceo feeling like so confident like you just own any room that you walk in type of perfume and that is no other than ysl libra libre i'm very bad with french pronunciation i think we know this at this point the sexiness in this perfume like no perfume compares i swear this is magic in a bottle this has top notes of lavender mandarin orange black currant and pedigrain it has middle notes of lavender orange black Blossom and jasmine and base notes of madagascar vanilla musk cedar and ambergris i feel like there's not really a singular note that i can really really pick up in this i pick up a little bit of lavender because there's quite a bit of lavender in here but not in an essential oil type of way it smells like the most expensive luxurious lavender and there's really just no perfume quite like it i've said this before i'm pretty sure but this is a kind of perfume that i would kind of put in the same category as alien from terry mcglair because it's so out there it's very different but it smells very very good and it's definitely for an out there kind of woman a woman that just wants to feel sexy i feel like a woman that is wearing a red silk blouse this is perfect for because it just screams the color red weirdly enough some people have said that they kind of think that it smells similar to alien i personally don't get it like at all i feel like maybe the reason why some people say that is because it's like it has the same sort of just intensely unique quality that alien also has but i don't think that they smell similar although i do think that they maybe give off a little bit of like the same vibe so if you like alien which as some of you may know if you watch my channel that is like one of my all-time favorite perfumes like on earth definitely like my top five kind of a perfume and this one i absolutely am obsessed with and it's funny because for that perfume and for this one as well at first when i first smelled them i was like "Ooh, like that is too much and then i smelled them again and i fell head over heels this is another scent that just kind of leaves an intoxicating trail and whereas this one is like strictly like intensely feminine and it'll just make you smell so sweet and leave off this like sweet vanilla sort of scent this one is so insanely feminine but this is more of like a boss chick kind of has a touch maybe like a cologne to it a touch like it's not like it's not a cologne type of scent at all because to me this smells so feminine i can't see a guy like wearing this but there is like that hint of like sexiness of like this masculine feel to it and i personally feel like every woman has a little bit of like a masculine energy inside of her and i feel like this really embodies that perfectly so if you want to feel like a boss chick definitely pick up ysl libra okay so the next perfume um kind of goes against my usual scent preference in perfumes but when i smelled it and not only when i smelled it but i brought it home and i had my mom smell it now my mother is a strong capricorn woman she is set in her ways she likes what she likes she has like three perfumes that she has worn 
all of her life and she doesn't choose anything else and she has like a very strict scent profile i feel like she likes fresher scents more floral scents more like coco mademoiselle that if i could give you like an example coco mademoiselle was like her signature scent for years like i mean years i have that perfume in my collection and i can't wear it without thinking of my mom so I showed this to my mom and normally as you can tell I have so many perfumes behind me and she likes like out of the hundred plus that I have maybe three. She's very very set in the perfume like type of perfumes that she likes and when she smelled this she was like she said she loved it more than Coco Mademoiselle which as I said was her signature scent for years she never wore anything other than that and when she said that she she thought this perfume was like the most amazing scent she had ever smelled in the world like she put it on her wrist she could not stop smelling herself she was telling me like you have to give this perfume to me and crazy enough when i smelled it i was like this smells so good my dad loved it because i kind of just had everybody smell this and they were all going crazy and i was like oh my gosh like i I should have gotten a bigger bottle because I only got a one ounce of it. So many people were hyping this up. But the way that they were describing it was more so in the fresher um, floral kind of family. And let me just show you the perfume already. This is Chloe Nomad. Let me be honest, I have not really loved a lot of Chloe perfumes. They are way too floral for my kind of scent preference. Way too floral and not really any sweet. So I've never really dabbled with their brand, but I kept hearing everyone mention Chloe Nomad. Even people that didn't really like their like sort of scents that they come out with they were all saying like oh my gosh this is amazing this is the best perfume ever and i was like okay i have to go and smell this this perfume it's crazy because all of these perfumes that i'm showing you have like just such completely opposite vibes from one another but they all just like exude this feminine boss chick confident sort of energy to them but all in different kind of ways as i said this one's for like a sweet lover this one's for like maybe a little bit more of a floral lover but also it has a little bit sweet kind of everything in here and is just more like out there this one if you love cleaner scents but this is not a boring clean scent because i've mentioned this in a million of my videos i'm not really into clean scents i just feel like it defeats the purpose of a perfume but this one smells like you just took like you just went on a luxurious spa and you just came out of a luxurious spa and you're like you just feel so relaxed and you have this gorgeous sense all around you and this smells like that this smells incredible it's mostly i guess i don't know if i would call it even fresh i guess kind of more fresh though um but it's mostly fresh it has a touch of sweetness to it this one falls into the shipra family because it has oak moss same with um coco mademoiselle by chanel that perfume is also in the shipra family this one i don't think that it smells anything like coco mademoiselle my mom actually kind of said that it, it was giving her kind of similar vibes i have coco mademoiselle right over here and i don't think that they smell the same i definitely like this one way way better coco mademoiselle is way classier way more mature this one is not really mature in my opinion i mean it is mature like it's like a boss chick but that one if i could put like an age category just for the sake of like describing that would be like 30 and up whereas this one would be like 20 and up i feel like this is a lot more it's not like girly girl because it's it has this like level of sophistication to it but it's definitely not like a young daisy by mark jacobs viva la juicy type of scent no not at all anything like those scents it's just super super pleasant this opens up very very citrusy it has a lot of citrus in it it has top notes of mirabelle bergamot lemon and orange it has middle notes of freesia peach jasmine and rose and base notes of oak moss amberwood patchouli white musk and sandalwood so as you can see by those top notes there's a ton of citrus in this and it does open up pretty citrusy i guess and then that dry down is where like the magic happens and it just smells so fresh this is a very i feel like easy blind buy but this is not like your boring fresh kind of perfume there's something to it that just smells so 
luxury it smells like luxury it literally smells like you're wearing luxury like you just are a rich woman and it's like kind of a no fuss perfume it's not an offensive kind of perfume i would say that although i love this one this might be a little bit offensive it's not gonna be like your everyday perfume um even though i mean i would wear it any day whatever i don't care but this one is your everyday perfume. This is definitely a signature type of scent kind of perfume. And there's just a huge fan base to this perfume. I'm sure a lot of you guys, after I'm showing this, will comment in the comments being like, wow, I love that perfume. So let me know if you have this in your collection. And if you love it, let me know. This is such a complimented perfume. There's something about this that is so likable, but it's still unique enough to wear. It's not boring. And I will say a perfume that I kind of smelled recently was um eau de merveille by hermes and i fell in love with it i just didn't love the way that it kind of dried down like i love the smell but it was just mixing kind of weird with my chemistry i felt like but when i smelled this it kind of gave me similar vibes and it smelled kind of similar so that made me really happy because although i love the scent of it something about that perfume mixed with like my chemistry it just really wasn't working right and with this one it gave me that scent which i loved in that perfume but this one mixes with my scent chemistry like so well and it just makes you smell so like fresh out the shower i really don't know how to explain it because i find it really strange for me to say this is so unique and it's like a fresher citrus kind of floral type of scent because i'm not really into those kinds of scents and i've always said that those scents bore me but there's something so intoxicating about this scent so definitely go and check this out like i i urge you to go and check this one out you don't even have to buy it just go and smell it and let me know in the comments of this video if you smelled it or if you have smelled it or if it's in your collection please let me and everybody else know how good this perfume is because i have so many things i want to say about it but I don't want to make this video a million years long, even though it probably will be because I talk a lot. By the way, this is the Eau de Parfum. They do have other versions, but this is just the best. So, Chloe Nomad by Chloe. Nomad by Chloe. What? This is Chloe Nomad. I can't make a top 10 perfumes that all women need without including this next perfume because this is literally a woman in a bottle. This screams sexy woman lady boss type perfume this perfume is carolina herrera good girl can we just i mean this bottle just says it all i could literally just show you this and just move to the next perfume because i feel like this just speaks for itself this perfume that i don't know what it is because to be honest i didn't at first find this so crazy and then i kept wearing it and then i was like okay i i get it this smells amazing but this perfume is probably one of the most complimented perfumes ever by men specifically there is an ingredient in here that men just absolutely love first day that i ever sprayed this on me i went home and my fiance smelled me and he was like he was sniffing me he's like you've never worn this before like that smells really really good and i was like okay now i have to go and buy it and i bought it the next day so this just smells amazing this is so good it's a very unique scent have not smelled any perfume like this i feel like a lot of perfumes came after this that kind of smelled similar but this is an intoxicating perfume if i've ever smelled one this is so intoxicating I don't even know what it is. This has a ton of notes in it, by the way. This has top notes of almond, coffee, bergamot, and lemon. It has middle notes of tuberose, jasmine, sandback, orange blossom, orris, and Bulgarian rose. It has base notes of tonka bean, cacao, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, amber, musk, cashmere wood, cinnamon, patchouli, and cedar. There is a lot going on in here. And you would think that because it has so many notes, this would kind of be like just a crazy perfume. But it's somehow so well balanced and all of the notes like... Even though it has so many notes, there's not a specific note that I can pinpoint in this. It is a stronger perfume, but I don't think it has insane projection. It's kind of a more close to the skin sexy scent, which I personally find close to the skin scents, especially a scent like this so intoxicating so sexy if anybody came and like smelled you hugged you they would just be like literally in a love spell this is sweet it's dark i don't know if maybe i can smell a hint of that cacao in here i don't really know like i really can't pinpoint any certain note this is like confident night out type of scent like if ysl libra is like a 
I would say boss chick, like a CEO working in an office on like a skyscraper in New York kind of perfume. I would say this one is like you're going out on like a date. You're wearing this like little black dress that's super sexy, some nice black heels. This is, well, obviously nice black heels. And then you top it off with this. This is kind of the vibe that this one gives me. I feel like this is good for any occasion. I mean, I don't really think that it's like so insanely strong that it's only reserved for like a specific occasion but for the sake of describing it i would definitely say that this is like a sexy going out date night kind of a scent because it's more so like that close to the skin intimate sort of a scent something that you want your significant other to like come close to you and smell on you this is just an amazing sort of fruity floral kind of dark sort of a scent and i'm absolutely obsessed with this bottle i think everybody that has this perfume like absolutely love this bottle so that is carolina herrera good girl all right so next up we have a new addition to my perfume collection and this is an incredible scent this is so good honestly anyone from their line would be a need in my opinion because i love them um but this one specifically i just feel like is the most i don't know feminine girly just like a beautiful scent this one is so beautiful this is giorgio armani c fiori so they obviously have the original c which i recently also picked up and will include in a haul soon but this one this is a flanker obviously so it does actually smell a little bit like the original c the original c for me in the opening smells almost exactly like red wine and when i first smelled that like the first time i ever smelled it it kind of turned me off because i was like why would anybody want to smell like this but just wait wait put that on your body because i made the mistake of spraying it on a tester strip and i was like oh this smells like wine like i don't like it spray it on your body spray it on your body let it sit for like a minute or two and then smell it and you will be just enamored by how amazing it is it is like an intoxicating sexy perfume that is like the most one of the most complimented perfumes like ever i feel like so many people would agree and this one it has the dna of c but it's softer it's a little bit creamier powderier and also sweeter so if you love sweeter scents see the original is already kind of a sweet scent but i feel like this is even more it's more creamy it's more powdery um it has a little bit of that rose in it but it's a very sort of soft rose like musky rose in a really good way it's not like a mature kind of rose this has top notes of black currant green mandarin middle notes of neroli rose and patchouli and oak moss and then it has base notes of vanilla and white musk i honestly feel like i love this because it has black currant in it i love any perfume that has black currant i think black currant is just an elite note this is just basically like a softer sweeter version of c so if you already love c check this one out if you also don't love c still check this one out because i do think that they are different enough that you might like this one a lot more i would kind of categorize this as like a fruity gourmand because it has that rose but the vanilla in it is also very prominent so it gives you like this creamy gourmand sort of warm sweet feel but with like a touch of floral it's definitely an intoxicating type of scent and i had to include it in this video because it's definitely like a super super feminine exudes feminine energy kind of a scent so again that is c fiori by Giorgio Armani. So next scent is definitely another just must have scent for me. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Since the moment I got it, every time I smell it, I'm like intoxicated by it. If you guys have Dolce Gabbana Pour Femme Intense, the intense version, I'm not sure about the regular. I don't think it's similar to it, but if you have the intense version, this perfume smells a lot like it and I love that perfume and I love this one, but they smell very similar. This is YSL Manifesto. This perfume... Oh my god like i know i'm saying these are all like intoxicating but that's because they all are in kind of all different ways but this perfume actually gives off similar vibes they're not dupes or anything but this gives off similar vibes to libra so if you love this one try this one out you probably will love it every time i smell it i can't get enough of it it's so delicious to me and of course i find it delicious because it has black currant in the top notes other than black currant this has bergamot and green notes in the top notes and then it has middle notes of jasmine sandback lily of the valley and base notes of vanilla tonka bean sandalwood and cedar i feel like there's like top three notes that i smell in this and they are all like my favorite favorite notes ever so i think that's why i'm like obsessed with this i smell black currant love 
I smell the jasmine sandback. I'm absolutely in love with jasmine and I smell vanilla. It's like a amazing combination of all of those. Has a little bit of that sandalwood giving this like a little bit more of a woody sexier feel. But I would say those top three are like the most prominent things that I can kind of pick up on. And those are like my top three favorite notes that if I were to make my perfume, it would have those notes in it. It's a very extraordinary kind of a perfume. It's very, very unique. It's a type of scent that you haven't really smelled before. And I went through so much to try to get this. And if you watched my video of when I first got this, because I made a haul on it, um, I will link it somewhere up here um, if you want to check it out. But I got severely ripped off when I first bought this especially because this is like a little one ounce bottle of it so that sucked but I, I just I had to do everything in my power to just get this because it was so hard to find and this is a perfume you literally spray twice and it will last you through the next day it does not come off of your clothes your skin it is like one of the most long wearing honestly all of the perfumes that I have in this video like with the exception of none all of them smell so amazing and their scent lingers forever like they are all scents that have amazing longevity not all that have amazing projection because some of them do most of them do but there's some that are cl more close to the skin um as i already mentioned which ones those were this one is definitely a more projecting kind of a perfume because it's definitely more out there and it's strong that's why i would say don't go more than like at most four sprays with this honestly i would keep it at like a two or three because this is a heavy hitter but in the best way possible so intoxicating such a compliment getter and it just smells so sexy and it smells like absolute heaven right. so the very last scent that i have for you guys is one that i had to include for all of you black opium lovers out there but it's not black opium before you click out of this video i know a lot of people are like so annoyed by black opium at this point because it's very much overdone i know that there's a huge following for it as well i personally like it I think it's a little boring to be honest. I've smelled so many perfumes that smell similar to it. Um, I do have it in my collection. And I do wear it from time to time, but it's not my favorite. It smells good. It's definitely a compliment getter just because it's so crowd pleasing. But I do think it's a little bit basic. But the perfume that I'm about to show you guys is basically if Black Opium and La Vie Belle from Lancome had a child, this would be their child. But like, better this is dolce and gabbana the only one i got introduced to this scent because kathleen lights would not stop talking about it this she was including this in so many of her videos saying that she was getting so many compliments that it smelled heavenly smelled sweet smelled a lot like black opium and la via bell and i agree this is literally the love child of those two perfumes it smells really really good it's a really rich creamy sweet sort of smell it has that coffee in it which is kind of making this smell like black opium but there's something better to it that i like way way better i feel like personally the coffee note in black opium is a little tad bit heavy for my taste and a tad bit bitter also even though it's a very sweet scent i don't know why but i find the coffee in it to just be a tad bit bitter for me and a tad bit cloying and in this one this doesn't do that to me this has top notes of violet orange and bergamot it has middle notes of coffee pear iris orange blossom and rose and base notes of caramel vanilla and patchouli this does have patchouli but it's very very light in it so if patchouli is not your favorite scent and girl it's not mine either this perfume is very very low on that patchouli and in black opium i feel like the patchouli is also one of the reasons why i'm not in love with it um because it's a tad bit strong it's not too strong it's not that bad but this one's definitely a lot lighter on that patchouli and just the mixture of the vanilla caramel um violet a little hint of coffee just makes this very very intoxicating very sweet a very big crowd pleaser type of scent it's definitely a sweet gourmand like tad bit like powdery but all i can really say is if you like black opium or la via belle or both you would absolutely love this and definitely a compliment getter for sure and it really mixes with your body's chemistry really well and just makes this very very intoxicating and again it has really good projection and lasting power as do every single one of the other ones that i've showed in this video that concludes this video i hope you guys liked this video and you enjoyed all the perfumes that i showed in here let me know which one is your favorite if you have any of these and let me know your favorite as far as like top 
perfumes that a woman should have like a sexy confident booster sort of a scent but that is it for me today i want to say thank you to lily silk again for sponsoring this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video bye